Hello again, my friends. I'm happy to bring you another Silver Senior Silver Screen special biography on an old classic Hollywood movie, Peyton Place. But before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Hi, I'm Lucy and this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. I'm going to tell you a hard truth about yourself. It isn't sex you're afraid of. You can say yes or no to that. It's love. That's what you can't handle. And if you'd like me to do a bio on one of your favorite movies and also have me dedicate a movie in your name that will be mentioned here in one of my future videos, please let me know by commenting below. I have gotten some other requests to do some other movies and I will be doing them in the order in which I receive them. I don't want anyone to think I've forgotten them. It just takes me some time to do the research on each movie and then put it all together for you. That I'd like to show you that no one knows about, not even you, to my secret place. Uh, I know every spot within three miles of Peyton Place. And just in case some of you haven't seen this movie, please know there will be some spoilers in this video. I never knew this place was here. I don't think anybody does but me. And maybe God. And now you. Also, please watch the video to the end to see a couple of nice behind-the-scenes photos, some that you might not have seen before, and I'm also including some interesting facts and trivia, too. What'd you whistle for? Just saw a young fella and a girl in swimming without a stitch on. Where? They got out the water and ran into the woods. Naked? Naked. And please check out my playlist of preview movies right here on my channel to see other videos I've created of other movies similar to this one. You really want to kiss me, don't you? Oh, I do, I. Tell me how much. Video. Tell me. And so without further ado, through the magic of my computer, I've colorized some of the old black and white pictures from some scenes, which I find that you can see more details in them this way. This is considered a drama and romance movie. It was released in the USA in 1957 and it stars Lana Turner, Lee Phillips, and Lloyd Nolan. And some of their co-stars were Lauren Green, Hope Lang, David Nelson, Diane Varsi, Arthur Kennedy, Russ Tamblin, Terry Moore, Barry Coe, Betty Field, Mildred Danuk, Leon Ames, Robert Harris, and others. And some parts of it were filmed in Camden, Maine. It was directed by Mark Robson, and the screenplay was written by John Michael Hayes, and it was produced by 20th Century Fox, and it was nominated for nine Oscars. This movie is about a peaceful New England town that hides secrets and scandals. <laughs> and now I've got some juicy trivia tidbits for you. The real house in Camden, Maine used for Lana Turner's home was duplicated at 20th Century Fox so that Turner did not have to travel to Maine to shoot any scenes and its interiors built on sound stages. When Diane Varsi leaves the real house to go to school, the floral wallpaper of its real-life foyer can be seen through its open front door. The sound stage set had light gray walls in its foyer. And this film received nine Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, but it did fail to win a single Academy Award. And the real-life murder of Lana Turner's mobster boyfriend, Johnny Stampanato, by Turner's daughter, was later fictionalized in Where Has Love Gone in 1964, also scripted by Peyton Place of 1957, writer John Michael Hayes. Hey, You've got to call the state police. No, no, I can't. You've got to. Easy. 
as played by Lana Turner. Selena Cross, played by Hope Lang. Michael Rossi, played by Lee Phillips. Doc Swain, played by Lloyd Nolan. Alison McKenzie, played by the most amazing star discovery of the year, Diane Barcy. Lucas Cross, played by Arthur Kennedy. Norman Page, played by Russ Tamblin. Betty Anderson, played by Terry Moore. With Barry Coe as Rodney. David Nelson as Ted Carter. Betty Field as Nellie. Mildred Dunnick as Mrs. Thornton. Leon Ames as Harrington. If you like that one, we've got a lot more. Hotter than your morning coffee. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.